So another cool spot in Ohio is actually where we are right now. Uh, COSI is located in Franklinton, and this neighborhood was one of the first settlements in Franklin County. And as the city grew just to the east, this neighborhood actually fell into disrepair. It became known as the Bottoms, and the name referred to its low-lying area along the Scioto River before the flood wall was put in. It's also referred to the bottom of the socioeconomic ladder. I encourage you to drive around as you leave today. You will see an area up and coming. And Franklinton is one of Franklin County's 43 opportunity zones. So I ask Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther to join us today to share how a growing city like Columbus chose its opportunity zones and the community-centered approach that they have taken in developing a plan for their opportunity zones. Andy is a Columbus-born and raised, uh, and uh, Columbus-born and raised mayor, excuse me, and that makes one fierce advocate for the future of his city. Under his leadership, Columbus was named America's Opportunity City, and having served on the Board of Education, the City Council, and now as mayor, Mayor Ginther works with labor, business, faith, and community leaders to promote opportunities for every person in every neighborhood. I'm really excited uh, to welcome here today Mayor Andrew Ginther. Good afternoon, and uh, Lydia, director. Uh, the two greatest titles she'll ever have in her life are mama and mayor, but director sounds pretty good, and we're thrilled uh, to be here today to share a little bit of what we're working on here in Columbus. You know, my top three priorities as mayor in this city, neighborhoods, neighborhoods, neighborhoods. Uh, if there's any confusion, seek back to the first. I'm committed to making sure that every person in every neighborhood has the opportunity to succeed and participate fully in Columbus's success story. Identifying Columbus neighborhoods for inclusion in the Opportunity Zone program was a collaborative process. Many of you have heard us talk about the Columbus Way uh, because we be believe strongly that public-private partnerships are the best way to achieve results in our community. So we partnered with Franklin County, our local transit authority, affordable housing advocates, higher education, and our business community to put together our proposal to the state of Ohio. Our opportunity neighborhoods, the neighborhoods my administration has been focusing on since I took office, served as a starting point in the process. These are neighborhoods that have not shared in the success that Columbus has seen in recent years. They face higher rates of infant mortality, violent crime, and vacant and abandoned housing. 44 census tracts in Franklin County were designated for the Opportunity Zone program. 39 of those tracts are within the city of Columbus, with the remainder neighboring us. The neighborhoods we selected to be considered for Opportunity Zone designations were already being targeted for public and private investment. Investor outreach to our staff has been split evenly between entities currently located in the city and those out of town interests. We've seen a shift in the type of projects we're getting calls on. On May 7th, Columbus residents will vote on a $1.03 billion bond package. For the first time in the city's history, the bond package includes an affordable housing component that would authorize $50 million to be invested in one of the city's greatest needs as we continue to grow and thrive. Since making this announcement, we've seen an increase in investor outreach specifically focused on affordable housing. The Opportunity Zone program is a great tool for us to utilize, but it is not a silver bullet. We must remain committed to ensuring that we use this tool in tandem with other city and state programs to maximize the benefits for our most vulnerable programs and neighborhoods. In Columbus, we selected many census tracts that border each other to create larger zones within our opportunity neighborhoods. Again, leveraging current 
uh, in past public and private investments to have greater impact. One of our main priorities moving forward will be on resident outreach. Earlier this year, we held the first of several community meetings aimed at existing residents and business owners in our opportunity zones. Our hope and belief is that folks that have been doing business and have been living in these neighborhoods for decades, who have made them who they are, ought to benefit as much uh, as those who are seeking to invest in these neighborhoods from outside our community. We began right here in Franklinton, as the director mentioned, where Columbus all began, our oldest neighborhood in our 207-year experiment that is the city of Columbus. The meeting was planned and facilitated by the city, featured real estate experts, tax attorneys, and local business owners. Our goal in these meetings is to provide a background to our residents on what the program is and what it isn't. They also provide a forum for questions and feedback. Columbus also recently launched our Opportunity Zone Prospectus that you can find on our website under Economic Development. Our perspectives highlights the unique attributes and assets in our Opportunity Zone census tracts to provide a quick snapshot for potential investors. So take a look at our prospectus and uh, if you have any questions for me or my team, please uh, reach out and let us know. We'd be happy to connect with you or your staff if we can share any information that could be helpful to you. It's been a great uh, opportunity to come and speak with you today a little bit about what we're working on in Columbus. And we are absolutely thrilled to have um, a former mayor, our, our colleague uh, in Tampa says that a lot of folks seek to serve to be. Mayors seek to serve to do. And that is exactly what Director Mahalik and her team are going to be doing on this program and so many more initiatives. Uh, Ohio cities uh, have never been in better hands than we are now. Thanks for having me.